Hey guys, hey, how are you guys are doing? Is you guys are doing because it is 15 minutes until it is um, 2021 for Evelyn. Um, I still have an hour and 15 minutes for me. Um, but we're going to celebrate it for her and I'm going to yell out Jumanji just in case. Just, just throwing that out there. Just Jumanji. Um, so, I'm pretty exhausted. I'm not used to staying up late. And it's not even 11 o'clock. So, yeah. I'm getting old. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting super old where I'm like, it's 8 o'clock, I'm tired. I get up at 3 o'clock in the morning. And they've been popping off fucking fireworks since, like, 5.30. So my dogs have have to have had to be put up all day, and I'm like so sad because they don't like to be put up like all day. So I've unfortunately had to leave my dogs in the um, laundry room with the dryer and the washing machine running because they're terrified of um, of um, fireworks, and that makes me so sad. Like nobody cares. Like nobody thinks about other people's animals or people with PTSD. Like, especially living near a an Air Force base, well, a joint base, where, you know, you've got Army, Navy, you know, blah, 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 Marines, Air Force, everybody's here. Like, you would think people would care about people with PTSD from coming back from wars and stuff like that, but they don't. They're like, ooh, sparklies, fuck you, fuck your dogs, fuck your PTSD. Like, pretty much just, not just sweet. Um... I don't particularly care for them myself, but that's just me. Um, this video will be pretty short. Like I said, I'm real tired. Um, I had wanted to make one earlier today, but um, after my workout, like I did an arm workout, I fell and slipped in the ice taking the trash out. And um, I hurt my, my tailbone pretty bad. Like, it just hurts. It's not broken or anything like that. It's just, it just hurts. I don't have much padding back there. Um, so, I couldn't do the spin bike. So, I've been like, well, fuck. I can't do the spin bike. What can I do? Well, I just so happened to have, like, two 20-pound dumbbells downstairs. And I decided to do my normal arm workout um, using dumbbells. So that means that I upped my weight by five pounds because normally I only do 15. So that was a big deal. And so my arms are sore. Um, my ass is sore. <laughs> my legs are sore from the day before. So I'm just, I'm a big hot mess. Um, so uh, thank you guys for writing that you've had CTs done. Um, you know, I've had contrast CTs done of my stomach before, um, but I've never had one done of my heart, so I thought maybe it might have been something different. But um, if it's just them putting dye in, then yeah, I know what that feels like. That's no big deal. Um, or the bubble test, like, that doesn't bother me. Like, I don't, I don't care one way or the other. Um, I thought it would be something different than what I had done before, but yeah, I've had, I've had contrast before. Um, with my uh, stomach CT um, and the echo um, I had one when I was like 2013 before they would give me my surgery I had to be cleared so um, they gave me an echo then and it was just really uncomfortable because they were pressing down pretty hard because I had so much fat up there um, to get a good picture they had to like press it really fucking hard and I was like eh. um but they're not going to have that problem anymore. <laughs> so I ain't got nothing up there now. <laughs> She'd be like, where's your titties? Why are your titties halfway down your... Never mind. Never mind. They're all in my armpits. I just tuck them up underneath my back. Be like, they're out of the way. No big deal. You're welcome. So, um... Anyway. Anyhow, anywho. I really wanted to get on here and make sure that I said Jumanji for everybody and happy new year and that I hope everybody is going to have a much better year coming up and that things will get better for everybody um just don't touch anything
okay just go slow look both ways make sure you have your water where is it where's your water Where's your water? You didn't think I was going to forget, did you? <laughs> no. But anyway. So, I want to tell you that I love you. Um, I thought about you guys a lot today. Um, I have... Today was ten days. Tomorrow was nine days. So, nine days until she comes back. Because by the time most of you will see this, because it's so late, it'll already be nine days for me. So, tomorrow is nine days. <laughs> um, six days until she graduates, nine days until she's home. So, we're getting there. Uh, each day is just a little faster, as all I can hope for. Um, I just wanted to... I wanted to leave you guys on a good note. I wanted to make sure that I got on here and I wasn't depressed and I wasn't sad sack and I wasn't, you know, um, I wanted to leave 2020 with a more positive note that, you know, things are going to suck. Life is going to be really hard. But look what we've accomplished. Look what we've done. Look what we've been able to accomplish so far. It's such a big deal. It is such a big deal what we've been able to accomplish this year with all the setbacks, with all the obstacles, with, with some of us more than others, I know, I know. But just, I think everybody has had something to come away with from this year. And I need you guys to be proud of yourselves, even if it doesn't feel like you should be. You should be so proud of yourselves for just being here because this year has been horrible. This new year, I am, again, I am praying so hard that this new year brings us all something, you know, just brings us better better luck is the only thing I can think of to say is better luck. So, please be proud of yourselves. Please be proud of yourselves. I love your beautiful, gorgeous, amazing faces. Please stay. Please don't leave. I would miss you. You are wanted here always. You are needed here. And you are definitely, definitely loved every year. Every year. I will talk to you guys in 2021. Bye.